Okay, so we've set up our basic guidelines here of where we want everything to fit on our characters. Of course, our characters are going to look different from this, so what we're going to do here is we're going to tone down the guidelines. And you can do this on your paper with erasers. You can just kind of erase all of the guidelines down so you can just barely, barely see them. Uh, that is one way to do it. The other way to do it is to put tracing paper over your characters and to draw over the guidelines without actually drawing the guidelines. Or you could have used a light board. So this is how we are going to draw our characters now. First of all, we're going to take the guidelines and we are just going to take them down, 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 down. You see? Down, 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 so you can barely see them. And then we're going to take uh, the, um, all of them just down, 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 so you can barely see them. This one. Down, 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 down. There we go. Barely see them. Here we go. This one. Down, 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 down. Barely see it. barely see it. So all of our all of our details, all of our guidelines are barely visible. Now we can actually start drawing the finished character on top of our guidelines. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Um, you'll find that this is the kind of setup they have in a lot of the how to draw books where you have these strange variations of your character but this is only to help you draw the final character, so that's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to draw our girl character here to start with, okay? So, we're going to start with her little eyes, like so. Give her her little nose, and you could change it a little here. I think I did make it a little bit sharper. Now, I'm going to start with the hair. curve it down a little bit and we want this hand to come on the side so I'm going to make this come out a little bit uh, give her a little sleeve and some fingers uh, now we're going to go on that side and now we're going to give her some nice hair like so and here's our part and we're going to go over on this side of her part, like this, and uh, really nice. We're trying, now this is the part we try to keep the lines nice, because this is going to be your final. And we do have another hand back here, and it's kind of hidden by her hair a lot, so just like that, behind her hair. Maybe give her a little hair behind that, like so. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of her T-shirt there. And we're going to put a little T-shirt around here, like so. And a couple of little pants. One on this side. I'm going to go a little closer to the midline here because I don't like how I did that before. You can change that here. And then I'm just going to give her some shoes sticking out of there because that's her particular kind of character. And then I can actually give her maybe a little details to go on her, her shoes. So there's our character. And watch what happens when we get rid of all of our our, our guidelines here, bingo, we have a character, right? So there we have it, there's our first character. And I think we're going to give her some more details, some little stripes for her pants, like in the picture, which I think is cool. Like so, gotta get him to hit those like that. And then her her T-shirt, maybe it's got a little collar. 
that's a little crooked. I would like to straighten that out a little, so I'm going to take my eraser. And I'm just going to erase like that. And maybe make a little collar that goes like this here. Maybe make it a little bit here too, behind her ear. And then I would like to make her eyes a little better. Little, little, little dot there. Maybe some little eyelashes. Some eyebrows like this. And then I'd like to give a little detail to her hair. You don't have to show every hair that comes down. Just enough to give the idea that it's hair. And vary the lines. Make some of them longer, some of them short, some of them close together, some of them far apart. Just to add some variety and make it look like hair. I'm going to do that here, too. And we're going to get some little, little hair going like so. So we got a nice character here. And I'm just going to darken in the hair behind here because it'll be dark. So here we have, I'm just going to give her a little sleeve here around like that. So maybe a little more detail on her, her, her little sneaker. So, so what was kind of messy before has become a character, right? So I'm going to kind of change that there a little bit too. I'm going to take my eraser. This is kind of bugging me. I just want to bring her shirt a little bit further out like that. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to work on the next character. It's going to be that little girl in the middle. And uh, we're going to get her details. Let's, um, let's start with this. Uh, we're going to start here with her, with her nice scarf. Framing her face like so. Oh, that was kind of crooked. Get my eraser out. Try to straighten those lines out a little bit. Erasing is always good. Uh, go a little dark. Oh, I like how that works too. A little bit, a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit of hair under there. So we're going to make her eyes, her nose, and maybe I'd like to make a little teeth here just for variety so she's not quite like the other one. So nice eyes. All right, now let's go, and we're going to curve that around there. Now we're going to make a nice big scarf for her, like so. Going to get it up over her circle, like so. And the circle will get erased, so you won't be able to see that. We're going to erase it right now because I don't really need it anymore. And there's her, her hands. And she's got some jacket there that she's wearing. So I'm going to kind of make the jacket a little bit like this. Uh, maybe even add a little pockets here to give a little details for her. Uh, I can give a little, maybe some little details for a jean jacket. Hands. We're going to give her just the three fingers like we did the other one because these are our little characters. And then we're going to give her a little skirt like so. And then some shoes. I'm not quite sure what kind of shoes I want to make her yet. I think maybe just some regular sneakers. So we're going to give her some little laces kind of like that 
I may be even a little depth here on the bottom of the shoe just for interest's sake. And we can if we wanted to. Now we can take the guidelines out of there, get all the other stuff that we added earlier out of there. And uh, we can just maybe add a little bit of interest to her. to her scarf there so it's not completely boring and I think I'm going to give her some color here for a little darker color but the color is going to come next so there we have our second character and uh, now we're going to do our third character again on a curve and he will be our our boy character so we're just gonna give him i don't like see i did this this midline here for his hair kind of not so good so i'm gonna make sure that this is the high point right here where it hits the midline and then take it down here to his ear i'll bring the ear a little forward and there we got now we can start making this nice big afro, which is kind of fun. Always fun to draw afros. There we are. There's the character. So uh, let's go and do the features of his eyes. Again, he's going to uh, have very similar features to the girls because they all live in the same kind of world. Probably all go to the same middle school details. We won't give him the eyelashes though because he's a boy. But we'll give him some eyebrows. And then we're going to finish the curve here. And we're going to take it here because he's got his hoodie. Like so. And then we're going to take it around. We'll take this hoodie around here behind his hair a little bit. Uh, okay, so give him his hands on this side, hands on that side, and the three fingers. And then we're going to finish up his hoodie so we really won't see the circle at all anymore. We can just get rid of that. And some pants. the leg on the fo forward side is going to be a little bit bigger because it's more forward. Going to change the position of the leg a little bit. And then we can just get rid of all of that stuff, get rid of the guidelines. So we've got our, our character here. And I think I'm going to fix up his hoodie a little bit. Take out my eraser. This kind of came out not so good. All right, I'm going to change that up a little bit here, too. Reduce the line a little bit. All right. Maybe we're going to get some little laces there. Again, I want it to look a little like a hoodie, so we're going to put a little bit of a we call wrinkles there and uh, there we have our, our little character our little boy character I want him to have sneakers more fancy sneakers so we're going to give him sort of a little maybe a little high top treatment you can't see the tops of them because they're covered by his and then we're going to give him some depth here on the bottom of his sneakers like so Fancy sneakers here. So there, I want to kind of just add to the fanciness. And then he's got some kind of a logo here on the front of his t shirt. We're just going to put a little circle like that. I just don't exactly know what's there. So there we have our little, little boy character. So there we have it. We have three, three characters that we have made from circles.
And the next thing we're going to do, of course, is to color them in. So there we go. Now you have these hopefully penciled in very nicely with uh, the guidelines all erased. And then you can go over them with inks. And after you do the inking, you will go and, and uh, continue on with the coloring. So here we are, three school kids.